COVID-19 is affecting everyone differently. People are losing their jobs, their homes, their loved ones. And in times of crisis like this, we often turn to those in positions of power for a sense of safety and security. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it but when that doesn't turn out, we look to those in positions of influence for a feel-good story, something to lift up our spirits. Making a donation to a charity that helps feed high-risk communities is a great way to make a difference. And many celebs are doing just that. You know, it's these kind of feel-good stories where people are looking out for one another that we need right now. But I think it's important to remember something during all this. Many of the problems that people are facing during this crisis are due to the system we live in. Half of the world's wealth is owned by the top 1% of the population, and the wealthiest fifth of Americans own a staggering 88% of the wealth in this country. Studies show that these elites are only getting richer faster, and the wealth gap continues to grow as low to middle income Americans have seen their net worth plummet in the past century. Folks are breaking quarantine partially because our leaders are underplaying the severity of this outbreak. And some states are just reopening before they're ready. People can't afford to pay rent, but it's capitalism that forces us to have rent in the first place. Now these celebrities donating small amounts of their fortune is a good thing, but it's important to remember that these are band-aid solutions. And it's clear that our government officials aren't going to learn anything from all this. The next time a crisis like this happens, not if, but when, it's going to be the same old story. Until the structure of power in society is fundamentally changed. But I want to know your story. What struggles have you gone through since the beginning of this COVID-19 outbreak? Comment below, and I'm sure you'll find somebody who's going through the same thing. I'm Riley Locker with Wire Media, and thank you for watching.